afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you have a in good, good afternoon, condition. Good yes. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, appreciation for you all that already submitted the assignment. There are two assignments uh, for the um, paper assignment and the video assignment. And some of you, we are still uh, chatting in the comment. Yeah, please clarify as clear as possible. And yeah, we. Uh, maybe just summarize uh, for the assignment that uh, actually the assignment i didn't give you any how to say uh, clue is is for uh, to to check out your understanding about this topic some most of you maybe some of you yeah uh, greater than 50 percent already catch up with this topic but some of you still uh, looking for the appropriate methods, maybe. Uh, I don't know the reason why they choose uh, another method uh, instead of what the topic we are discussing. Okay, anyway, uh, actually for the hypothesis testing, we already done uh, the topic for hypothesis testing uh, finish. So we move forward to the next topic. Uh, the topic is uh, about the, um, allow me to share screen. Yeah, I hope you already uh, look at my screen. So in my screen, uh, we show uh, the title is simple linear regression and correlations. So. Simple regression, linear regression, and uh, correlation. So, uh, linear regression is kind of method for estimating or for predictions, yeah, by making the two variables become linear each other, and how the two variables can be correlated to each other. The simple, why, why this is insert a simple word? Simple means that uh, we only consider two variable, yeah? Two variable, variables. If we consider more than two, and then we come, we, uh, we will arrive at the complex linear, yeah? Maybe not, not, uh, no more linear, no more linear. Uh, why a regression? Because we want to estimate, for example, we have uh, two random variable or two variable here. This is X, this is Y. And then given the data, and then we can predict if given amount the data X here, what is the result of the X uh, for the Y? Given data X1, given, uh, by looking at the regressions, linear regression, we can estimate the y, something like that. Okay, so for the, uh, maybe for the introductions, I have a case. I hope uh, you can, can be triggered using this case. This case, okay, we have data from new case and death per daily basis as shown in table one. Actually, this is I, I take from the uh, COVID-19 COVID case. This is the new case every day, and this is the death case for every day. I took uh, the data from 26 May until 2 June, so total is eight, the eight data. So your your task is yeah if y if y is the death variable and then x is the new case variable such that we can formulate become y equal to this is beta 0 plus beta 1 x using uh, this mathematical formula uh, given the data and 
please uh, how to compute this uh, formula and find the value of variable beta zero and this is the variable beta one using any tool that you know any tool that you know okay explain the meaning of variable b and variable b0 and variable b1 okay you have a uh, maybe 30 minutes to conduct this case and then we can discuss later and how to formulate uh, uh, how to say structurally structurally and systematically how to uh, finally we will arrive at this uh, formula but uh, i will uh, let you uh, how to say let you know by yourself before giving the material systematically something like that okay uh, is there any questions so sir we can use any tools yes you can use any tool and there is no wrong okay sir yeah, given this data, please, uh, how to say, please limit to this data, yeah, given the data, okay. I will send this this PowerPoint to the WA group, yeah, WA group, and you can conduct uh, individually. Okay, we, and then we will finish at uh, four... 40. Okay, see you later in 4.40.
Okay, welcome back to the main sessions. Uh, so, uh, have you finished for the computing the case? Some of you maybe want to be a volunteer. Maybe Sat Satya and Dika, have you finished? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you try? Sir, I think my friend RD Hernando wants to explain, sir. <laughs> I'm asking you, Sandit, yeah? Your, your voice is quite low, see. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm asking you, Sanditya. Are you ready? Uh, I, I, I don't think I'm quite ready, see. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let's be dry. Wait. Give, give me two minutes, see. I already give you 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, see? Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yes. Well, I'm using uh, least square calculator. Yes. And that's what I obtained. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're using uh, Excel for yeah. the software? Yeah. For the software, okay. Yes, yeah, seems to be okay. Uh, maybe uh, I want to clarify a bit. Uh, so you mean this formula is represented represent to this line, the black line? Is it correct? Yeah. Yes. Sir. This so, is the formula. Okay. So in this case, the beta zero is equal to. 165 and more yes yes beta beta zero and this is the beta one equal to minus nine times 10 minus four yeah So, OK, 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By using uh, this software is very simple, right? Do you agree with me? Yeah, I agree. Quite yeah. simple. Yeah. Oh, quite simple. Yes. And then, uh, okay. Thank you, Sandi, Sandi, San, Satyandika. Thank you. Uh, okay. See. So should I okay. stop yeah. sharing? Yeah. Okay. Any other wants to show the result? Any other student who wants to show uh, the, uh, your result? Maybe. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, is it okay if I if I try? Yeah, of course. But I think the result is very similar to Satya. Mm, no problem. Okay. Uh, can you see the screen, sir? Yes. I also use a, a calculator, mm -hmm. and I think yeah, the 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 formula and the results are almost the same. This is for the uh, beta one is uh, eighty seven. Uh, like yeah, eighty seven for this one, not nine. Oh, you seems that uh, using advanced method. Yeah, I mean advanced tools. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should share to others, to your friend. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you in, in here, you submitted the value for the X and Y. The X and the Y. And then you just enter something like that. Yes, sir. Mm, and you got the result, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good try. <laughs> yes, yes. No, no, I appreciate. Yeah. Mm. Okay, sir. But yeah, I think I, I still kind of need to understand the beta and the beta one and beta zero more. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, actually, yeah, yeah, good. Uh, okay, allow me to explain. Actually. Okay, okay. Should, should I stop the uh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I will start uh, explanation, uh, explanation from okay, this okay. point. Okay. You know, this is uh, actually we have, uh, this is beta zero and this is uh, beta one, right? from the formula that we want to use yes actually, yes, mm, okay actually if uh, we can write being like this maybe uh, beta 1 plus x beta 0 yeah you can uh, interchange okay no problem and then actually what is the meaning of this value actually this meaning we can see at the point when we have x equal to 0 when the x equal to zero, the y will be positive one nine point one. Okay, or okay. Actually, what? Where is the location? Actually, the location when you um, when you extend this point, yeah, the x the x axis, and then you draw here the y axis and you if you have a zero here uh, you agree with me yeah this is the x when x is equal to zero and the starting point here is 165.1 you can see every everybody can understand yes, yes sir yes okay and you can see here the beta one beta ones your result is minus Minus means that uh, the slope will be, uh, how to say, like a negative, like something like this, uh, something like this. If you more slope here, it means that the beta ones getting to be minus or uh, the, the minus is higher. Yeah. When you have a positive P1, it means that uh, the slope is increasing. And here the slope is decreasing, yeah, you know, something like that. Okay, that's the meaning of uh, beta one. Okay, okay. Uh, right now, I hope you you understand how how to uh, how to express the meaning of beta zero and beta one. Okay. Or any question? Right, right, got it, sir. Got it. Okay. 
okay finish no problem any questions uh maybe these are like uh so for the linear regression is it like to to predict if two datas are related or yeah, yeah is, it, is it something is it like specially made for like two two things to see if they are correlated okay yeah the purpose of a uh, linear regression actually once you have map or when you have uh, this line or this uh, these equations it's mean that in the future value if you have maybe 700 seven uh, sorry 7000 case you can expect you can expect that the dead case will be around some number by substituting substituting uh, this value to this one and then you will cut the dead case you can predict lah yeah you can predict the death case one that's one of the purpose of a uh, linear regressions and another uh, purpose is to show the correlations between a uh, new case uh, between the x in this case between the x variable to the y variable we can see from this far up parameter beta 1 as the beta 1 getting closer to 0 it means that there is no correlations but if the beta 1 is uh, far from the zero it means that the two variable being more correlated the correlation will will, will be positive or negative ne positive correlation it means that once the axis increase the y increase the y axis increase and then if we have a negative correlations as we have the x increase to y decrease that's why if in your uh, how to say in your result you found that the beta 1 equal to minus even this is minus is very small the minus and you can see here as the x increase the y decrease maybe the slope is not so notify or not so higher so we can uh, have difficulty for identifying this decreasing value but you can easily see that is like the slope is decreasing something like that okay so uh, that's all any other questions Uh, so is there any uh, way to like to calculate the errors? I mean, like in, for example, in this graph, hmm. not all the plot is close to the graph that is uh, that has been computed using linear regression. So is hmm. there any way like to calculate the error? Okay, very good question. Okay, let's we start our discussing today. Okay. Uh, Uh, RD, RD, this your screen, RD? No. Maybe you can stop your screen. Thank you. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll stop. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, allow me to explain maybe five minutes or ten minutes. And this could be important for the basic understanding of yours about this topic. Okay. Given the data, yeah, for example, you already draw it. 
even the data, something like this, maybe this is Y, this is X. From the example, the X is a new case. And the Y is this case. And then we want to know how the new case and that case being correlated. And then how we can predict by knowing the new case, and then we can predict the uh, this case in the future, maybe. Why predicting uh, some value in the future is important because once we can predict, we can, yeah, we can, maybe we can anticipate something like that. From the government perspective, if we can see the this graph, this this line correctly, and then if something happen, if something happen, new cases is maybe around this point, and then we can predict, yeah, we can predict that the dead case will around uh, some y1 value yeah y1 value for example here and this is the okay this is the x1 okay that's the point yeah okay and then uh, the next question how to uh, formulate how to find this value actually how to find this uh, functions actually giving the two relation to dimensional variable and then we can uh, how to say uh, write being like this y is equal to uh, b1 x plus b0 okay and then the another problem arrive how to compute B0 and B1. How to compute B0 and B1? Okay. For example, we have uh, the data. Uh, the first method we can uh, say as a least square list square error LSA least square error and using this method we want to derive the beta 0 and beta 1 okay the least square method, Let's say this is S. The S is equal to equal to this is the result from observation. It's observation minus the expected value of Y. The expected value of Y. Okay. And then, since we want to, how to say, uh, we want to absolute, so we put uh, uh, 
square here and this is e from 1 uh, to the n it means that e here from 1 to the n is the number of sample as is the sample size okay and then we can derive being i equal to 1 and this is n this is still and this is is you remember uh, you can submit it to this point become uh, my uh, beta 0 minus beta 1 x something like this this is the less square error and then still the our purpose is how to find the beta 0 and beta uh, 1 first you derive the s respect to the beta 0 beta 0 so it's gonna be uh, two. this is still i to 1 and this is uh, beta 0 is okay e minus beta 0 minus b 1x something like that and for for maximizing the for maximum or minimum error yeah for minimum error we will uh, set the this equation becomes zero yeah becomes zero so we have something like this and y plus x okay and the second we derive respect to the delta p1 is equal to uh two i equal to one and y one uh, y i y a beta zero beta one x multiplied by x i so and then we, we can uh, set this equation become zero this is uh, equal to to the previous one something like that okay until this point you got it no and then this is i So by manipulating this one, yeah, if we uh, clear it, maybe uh, better to save. Yeah, I already save, and then we can clear this one. Uh, as you know that uh, the first equation is zero equal to two minus e equal to one. This is n y e minus Then for the second second equation is zero equal to uh, e equal to one and y e minus p o minus p one x i x this is x i okay and then Uh, so we can derive p again like this equal to one and y e. Uh, this we can uh, 
something like this. Actually, this is uh, an right being like this. This is N B, and this is two B I X I B one, yeah, B one E, uh, N, and this is zero equal to this is zero two. This is should be x e yeah. This is should be x e also. So we we put here. This is two e l n p o x i i uh, minus two one. This is one one x a double. And then since uh, uh, to similar, so we can uh, how to say uh, make uh, combine the first one and the second one, yeah, the first equation and the second equations combine first equation and two equations so in this case uh, this one if we, we have a and this is A also, yeah. A also. So in this mean that uh, minus two and P O minus and one X D equal to zero. So we want to eliminate the the XPO. Eliminate the XPO. So 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 so, so. we 
can just uh, oh, or we can eliminate the B one. So B one in this case uh, we have to multiply by x here. So the first equation becomes zero. y e e equal to 1 and x i mean minus equation is still same so to i equal to 1 and y i x i so this is minus e equal to 1 uh, equal to 1 and b o x i this is equal can subtract so in this point will be zero and we will have uh, this is also no 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 this no x this is will be uh, two by two and this is will be uh, minus two n b o x e. This is uh, so in this case, remove this one. Plus two b o x i. So we can uh, arrive at the uh, BO. BO is um, XI minus NXI. NXI uh, divided by two The two will be corrected, so uh, no, 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 no. It, it should be opposite, yeah. Uh, wait a moment. So, okay. So from this equation, we can arrive that the bo equal to this one b 
because two is two 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 we can reduce so will be something like that y i x i minus y i this is n this is n this is e equal to one this is e equal to one divided by uh yeah uh b o x i minus n b o x i so yeah actually it's similar so and without p o yeah without p o So will be x i and something like that. this point I think this one is can be yeah and zero zero seems to be the B1 it should be wait a moment I think first is we should I made a mistake here. Wait a moment. Okay. I think this is not equal to a because it's different so this should be should be x right this should be x x i uh, should be x i and then actually this is the first equation and this is the second equations and we want to eliminate the XPO, XPO, so what to say? What to say? Actually, 
we should uh, this one times y i i equal to one and minus two. This is n p o minus two. This one p e, this one and p one x e. And then I put here become two e one and y e x i. Is correct? Okay. I and e o. So this is. eliminate the PO how to eliminate the PO Just multiply by XI this one is correct This one should be times two, right? Times two, right? Yes. So, we eliminate this one, and this is equal to one. Equal to one. So, this will be. I think I have a mistake again. Okay. So, uh, sorry, sorry. equation we have the two and PO equal to I is
then from this one we can substitute into equation two so 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 zero equal to this is equation two equal to one and this is y e minus this is uh, we can substitute so this is the end This is divided by super n. One x i this is for the d o d o minus Is still equal to zero and then two times e y e minus uh, so so we can reduce this one this one and this one so we can arrive at uh, this point two times y i yeah we can arrive this This one, this one, this one times S E one and E one X I minus minus this E one X A power by two power by two E one and then here we we can uh, to say we we okay uh, uh, I, 
So here we can write after this derivations. I put here, yeah, at the top. The p one equal to. This is uh, actually will be divided, yeah. This one times this one times this one is equal to will be zero. So Actually, the derivation is uh, to say, maybe uh, I'm not get the result yet. I will write uh, the documentation for you how to derive from this, the first equations. Uh, how to say, uh, wait. from the first equation to the second equation. Uh, finally, uh, after you get this point, and then you will have a beta one, and then after we got the beta one, and then we have, we will get the beta zero. For the structural or systematically derivation, I will, uh, show you uh, using a video maybe yeah okay uh, I, I got the i believe from this point we 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 already get this one uh, okay but i have a problem how to disappear for the first yeah to combine the two to 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 equations. Okay, okay. So, oh, any questions? Are you still there? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, and. To be honest, I have a problem for derivation, deri derivying the beta zero and beta one. Later, uh, I will prepare for the video for exam uh, for how to derive the beta zero and beta one. But at the point here, uh, for ideal result, we will get uh, equation for the this beta one and beta zero. So for the step, is there any questions?
Uh, is you still confused? Yes? No? Yeah, actually a bit confused, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Later, I will give you a video for uh, deriving this one. Okay, uh, for today's class, I hope this is enough for you. And maybe uh, if you have a check uh, in the another literature, is very much welcome uh, for validation my 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 explanations. Okay, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam.